Hey, ha <laughs> ha, here's Johnny and Bruce with Beck. How the hell are you? I'm Dan. Hopefully you're having a phenomenal evening. Um, sorry about the bad, uh, you know, interpretation of Jack Nicholson, but, uh, you know, look what I got here. Yeah. Sorry, getting creepy as it goes towards Halloween. So we're one weekend away from Halloween. Acquired this from uh, Handy Mark in Burbank, or I usually do. What up? Um, this is from Hen House Brewing Company out of Petaluma, or I don't know if it's Pet Petaluma, Petaluma. Uh, it's up north of San Francisco. They've been in business for about 10 years. Uh, this one's called The Shaning. Obviously a pun on The Shining. Uh, it's named after their uh, co-head brewer, and, and I don't know if he's still there as a co-founder. Uh, his name is Shane, but I will describe to you. Um, Real quick. By the way, this one is obviously a double. I don't know if it's a hazy or New England, but either way, double hazy IPA coming in at 9.1 on the Richter. There you go. Two. Be quiet. At least so creepily quiet. Uh, but the full description on this one, it's literally 11 days in the can, so super fresh. Um, says, we took luscious fruit notes of Kubrick's Landing and turned it up to 11. Another majestic combination of mosaic, moteca, and mandarina Bavaria hops up here in to bring some hella lychee, overripe mango, melon, honeydew, and just a touch of some grassy vibes. This is a beer you're going to want to sip on forever and ever and ever, yada, yada, yada. And to paraphrase Bob, who paraphrased The Shining, places are like people, some shane and some don't. So in a world full of people, be a Shane. Get like us. Uh, so there you go. I'm looking forward to notes of grassy and mango and melon, but, you know, from seeing those, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I've had something with man, I don't know, Mandarina uh, Bavaria, but, you know, that's pretty much just bringing, like, Mandarin and Clementine and orange, like, so orange citrus to it. Uh, Moteca, you know, or Moteca, uh, Mosaic, you're just always supposed to get kind of tropical, blueberry, bubblegum, maybe sometimes dank for me. And Moteca is just, is I believe, just kind of tropical. Might get spicy and a little bit of rosemary. Still haven't got that rosemary from that hop, but uh, we'll see. But uh, getting creepy, getting close to Halloween. My boy Shane slash Jack here, right, ready to pour this 9.1 bad boy. So let's do it, shall we? My buffs came with me. All right, you know the drill. You see that like button directly below me? Do me a small favor right now. Crush it. Easy crush of that like button. And crush the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you can come with all these quality beers all the time. All right, all right, all right. Bring it back in here. Boom. Looking like orange juice, right? <laughs> Makes sense because you got Mandarina B Bavaria that's very orangey. <laughs> All right, um, let's dig in. Let's get it, get an aroma check. Smelling, uh, getting like the like a mango peach with a little bit of orange, but definitely like a mango peach thing going to it. Very tropical fruit meets you know mango, orange, and, and peach. All right. Smell a little bit of like the molten and, and uh, maybe some dry hop from it, but we'll see. All right. No words, just emotions. Here's Danny. Ooh. Yeah, I see what they're saying. Melon, I don't really have honeydew that much, but definitely like a non the non-sweet melon part of it. They say overripe mm -hmm. mango. Maybe, but it's got it's got like a creamy uh, melon right off the hint. They might have just a little little lupulin powder, a little just a twinge of dankness. And 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 yeah, like a little dankness and grassiness, uh, grassiness. Um, yeah, this is good. Digging this. I even do get. Funny enough, a little bit of like 
slight, um, but you know, as they say from uh, Mosaic, little kind of like I don't know why, but you know, not like sugary bubble gum, but kind of kind of bubble gum, but like blueberry bubble gum. But more on that. Starting to be a little peppery at the end. More on that melon kind of lupulin powder grassiness going in there. With a um, little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pineapple, but not, not sweet. Okay, that's good. That is that is very good. That's that's hen house right there. Pataluma. Let's pour the rest of the rest of that bad boy in there. All right, Come, give me one second. It's going to be, uh, you know, just tasting it for about a minute. Be right back. So it says red rum on the window. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, hey. All right. Uh, st still hanging with my man here. You know, Jacquet, otherwise known as Jack. Um, so, yeah, I uh, this this is a this is a great beer. Uh, Couple people, I just, just looked down. People that have had this on on tap. Uh, <laughs> one guy just says "juicy AF." You know what that means? Damn, that's delicious. Uh, you know, more than nine percent too. And the and another guy said, uh, "Love this beer and the tribute. Damn near perfect, in my opinion." It's it's pretty. Pretty damn good. I'll, I'll admit with that, and it is pre pretty damn near perfect. Um, literally, almost everything I could want. Nine point one percent feels close to that. Feels like it's. If I, if I had to guess blind, I would have guessed like eight point eight percent. Mouth feel is like. Not big. It's kind of like it's 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 kind of um, ever so like grapefruit grapefruit peel, kind of slightly tart sour uh, refreshing um but yeah comes off as like 8.8 .8. mouth feels like maybe 30 30 percent out of 100 um but yeah you get little pineapple little grapefruit peel grassiness little bit of like lupulin powder meets like a little bit of dank little bit of pepper at the end um And I even noticed to go with that a little bit of like a subtle, subtle bready malt. But this is this is excellent, excellent. You should absolutely, especially Halloween coming up. You know, life of the party. Come in with a couple of these bad boys, pour a couple glasses. People, you're going to be popular. Uh, trust me, this is a damn good beer. Plus, it just you know, I'm just not impressed by Jack. So. Uh, not Jack Skellington, this dude. Um, all right, so let me uh, uncircle from the last one because I was lazy. All right. So from Stellar down to, oh, hell no. On this, uh, you know, preemptive Halloween drink. That is good. That is good. Like it, it, I don't, uh, for me, I don't, it, I don't think it gets a whole lot better than that, in my opinion, because of what I like, but, uh, you know, dank, grassy, peppery, lupulin powder, little grapefruit. Yeah, just, and ju but still juicy and, and drinkable. This one is the Shining Shaning Stellar. Well done. Well done, Hen House. I think it's Hen House. Yeah, Hen House and Shane. Well done. Really good beer. Boom. Anyhow, whirl this bad boy around. Nice cre creaminess in, 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 in the smell. This, this beer is so good. I'm gonna have to, I might have to go back and get another. Again, you know, it is about seven bucks a beer, but absolutely worth it for the price and for the taste. So, if you're near Handy Market in Burbank, go get this. I'm sure, it's up north near uh, Petaluma. Just probably butchering that because I didn't study it, but uh, Petaluma, Pe Petaluma. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got. So, 
Uh, I'm not sure I was supposed to do Scrimshaw, but I, I really, I just had to jump at doing a review on this because ever since I got it, literally today. So, uh, happy, happy preemptive Halloween Saturday and uh, go Buffs and we'll see you out there. Good talk. Peace.